Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This was today, yesterday's project and actually the day before. It took about a day and a half, two days to build it. It's a cattle gap that I put a lot of thought into. And if you'll notice, these are beveled. It's 20 foot long by eight foot wide. Uh, I put this back so the dirt will have a place to sit and not, a lot of times when you do it straight, it washes in and it, uh, the truck's coming over, pack it and, it and it goes under it. We beveled that. We made these out of 3 16 angle iron. The reason for that is, and a lot of people don't know this, these wings on these cattle gaps or cattle guards are for horses. So you flop those wings out. Out. They're, they're light, they're not hard to, they're not heavy, and they, they stay on the pole on the fence. When you're riding your horse and you need to get to the cows or get out of the fence, you flop this over, ride your horse through, and then flop it back on the fence. In my opinion, these need to be uh, user friendly if you're actually going to use them. Now the next improvement that we did was I braced this two inch with C channel. What happens is I've had to I've had to go fix a lot of these, and these are for heavy trucks, saltwater trucks, uh, you know, a lot of traffic. And what happens is the, the tires will start to hit those pipes, and and it'll uh, move those welds and wiggle them. Pipe's kind of hard anyway, and it breaks the weld. So we beef those up. Now, the next thing I did that some people, I don't know if they don't understand or they don't care, or they uh, just like everything even, they will space the I-beam out evenly. It, that doesn't sound right to me because the I-beam in the middle needs to be exactly where the tires are likely to be. So get an average between your truck and 18 wheelers. Stay close to 18 wheelers because they're going to tear it up the worst. And that needs to be exactly where the tires hit. Because what happens is if you were to keep these equal and you start running tires on either side, the pipe starts flexing. And you'll notice a lot of times the pipes on the end will start to snap off because they can only do that so many times. So just in case that did happen, I put three sixteenths, three by three angle. We welded the pipe down and then we covered the ends to keep wasp or anything else out. And we welded it here and here. If one did happen to break, the rest of it would hold it together. So that's it. Uh, cattle gap king. Cattle Gap, Gap King. That's what we'll call them. Guys, have an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you in the next one later.